voice. <laughs> Leroy, you think your uncle heard me upstairs? Upstairs? He could have heard you in Kansas City. <laughs> Tonight in the third of a new fall and winter series of Wednesday evening broadcasts, the Kraft Foods Company presents Willard Waterman as the Great Gildersleeve. <laughs> Great Gildersleeve is brought to you by the Kraft Foods Company, makers of parquet margarine and all those other wonderful Kraft quality foods. It's golden yellow, ready to serve, and you get it now in the new flavor saver wrap. Yes, here's big news for everyone who lives in states where the law permits the sale of colored margarine. You can now buy yellow parquet margarine, already colored a rich golden yellow and ready to serve in a new flavor saver package. Each golden quarter pound individually wrapped in parchment-lined aluminum foil. All the freshness and flavor sealed in, staleness and odors kept out. Parquet margarine, you know, is the margarine that millions prefer because it tastes so good. And it tastes so good because it's always fresh. If you live where yellow margarine is sold, get yellow parquet in the new Flavor Saver wrap. Elsewhere, buy parquet in the handy Color Quick bag or regular package. Great Gildersleeve was up bright and early this morning, and after a quick glance at the paper, he moved right into the breakfast room. Bertie! Yes, sir? How are the eggs coming? Yeah, how are the eggs coming? Hey, Leroy, I'll handle this. You eat your prunes. On an empty stomach? Oh, Eggs coming up. Um, um, prunes going down. Mm, what a boy. <laughs> Mr. Gildersleeve, ain't you going to wait for Miss Marjorie and Mr. Bronco? Heck no. I'm going to get a crack at the eggs before Bronco gets here. That isn't it at all. I want to get down to the water department a little early this morning. Bessie's due back from her vacation. We have a lot of work to do. Yes, sir. Hey, I hear Bronco stirring around upstairs. Oh? Quick, pass the eggs, Leroy. <laughs> hey, the doorbell. I'll get it. Maybe it's Bronco. He always gets up in a daze. Bronco? At the front door? He sleeps with a window up. Maybe he made a wrong turn going to the shower. <laughs> Leroy, don't be ridiculous. It's a letter for you, Mr. Hill, please. For me? Special delivery. Gosh, special delivery. Let me see it, Bertie. Leroy, it's for me. Here it is in the lady's handwriting. Oh, thanks, Bertie. Well, better open it. You're all thumbs up. Let me open it. Not with those pruny fingers, Leroy. You'll seal it again. <laughs> okay, but hurry up. Well, it's from a dude ranch. Say, it's from Bessie. Bessie? What a letdown. She didn't get thrown off a horse or something, did she, Miss Gilsey? Well, let's see. Yeah, worse than that. She got married. She did? Well, ain't that nice. <laughs> Holy cow, did she marry one of those dude hop-along Cassidy's? <laughs> Leroy, give me a chance to find out. Let's see. It says, uh, well, she married a fellow named Loudermilk. He's in the feed and seed business. That's nice. Yeah, nice. Only one hitch. What'll I do about a secretary? Why don't you hire me, Unc? You, Leroy? Yeah, I can do the office work after school. Ho, ho, ho. Heck, to help you out, I'll even quit school. You will not. <laughs> Stop dictating. I got my pencil and paper ready, Mr. Gildersleeve. Yeah, all right, Leroy. You want me to sit here or on your knee? Leroy. <laughs> that boy... Bessie wasn't much of a secretary, but I'll miss her. Oh, well, now that she's gone, I'll get somebody who's on the ball. No more of this daydreaming. No more filing according to the Zodiac. I won't hire another scatterbrain. Uh, door isn't locked. Wonder how that happened. Who's that? Hello. Young lady, who are you? I'm Hazel. Hazel? Who are you? I'm Throckmorton P. Gildersleeve, the water commissioner, and the office isn't open yet. Say, how did you get in? I'm a friend of Bessie's. She mailed me her key. She did? Why'd she do that? She said I'd need it. She said I could have her job. Oh? 
Well, how could she hide? Well, I'm a friend of hers. I do favors for her, and she does favors for me. Oh, for... Young lady, I appreciate Bessie sending you up, and I appreciate you coming. But how do I know you're qualified to be my secretary? Well, I can type. No. But I never took a lesson. <laughs> you don't use the touch system? Oh, yes, sir. I use the touch system with two fingers. Two fingers? Well, I didn't see any reason to learn with all ten. You can only hit one key at a time. Oh, brother. Uh, Hazel. Yes, sir? Why don't you leave your name and number? And if I need you, I'll give you a ring. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you, Mr. Gildersleeve. I'll write it right here on the typewriter. Well. H. A. Z. Oh, I hit an X. I'll change it to a Z. Just leave the X. I'll know who it is. <laughs> Finding a secretary is going to be a terrible job. I guess the first thing to do is put an ad in the paper. Let's see how I word it. Uh, water commissioner needs efficient secretary. How do you spell secretary? With an E or an A? I need somebody around this office sharper than that hazy hazel. Isn't anybody in the water department today? Well, Judge Hooker. Come in, Judge. I'm here. Morning, Gildy. Where's Bessie? Isn't she due back today? Oh, uh, Bessie won't be back, Judge. She went up to a dude ranch and got married. Oh, she got roped and tied on your time, huh, Gildy? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's about it. <laughs> I'm just putting an ad in the paper. Then I'll have to waste a lot of my valuable time interviewing giggling girls. That isn't necessary, Gildy. I have just the secretary for you. Oh? The ex-registrar of deeds, Miss Matterhorn. You met her. Yeah. Uh, thanks for the suggestion, Horace, but I've always considered Miss Matterhorn a little icy. Gildy, why don't you hire her and tell her that I recommended her? No, Judge. I can't hire her just because she's a friend of yours. Why don't you think it over, Gildy? Nothing about Miss Matterhorn to think over. And if it'll help you make up your mind, why don't you take a spin out in the open country in my new car? Well, it's a nice car. In but... fact, I'd like to have you use my new car any time you care to. Judge, are you trying to bribe me? Oh, no. I'm merely offering you the use of my new car. Yeah? An old goat has to have a good reason to give up his new tin can. Oh, <laughs> Gildersleeve? How are things with you this morning? Oh, not so good, Peavy. I'm a little short-handed at the office. I lost my secretary. Well, if you haven't got anybody to take shorthand, I guess you are short-handed. <laughs> All right, Peavy. That was a little witticism, Mr. Gildersleeve. Shorthand, shorthanded. Yeah, I get it, Peavy. But I'm in no mood for witticisms. I have to get someone to replace Bessie. Oh, the job's still open, you say? Well, I put an ad in the paper, but it's still wide open. Mm, Mrs. Peavy would be glad to hear that. You wait a minute. You're not suggesting I hire Mrs. Peavy? Oh, oh no, no. Mrs. Peavy never could take dictation, if you know what I mean. <laughs> yeah, I think I know what you mean. I was thinking of Mrs. Peavy's niece. She's been boarding with us quite a while. Free, of course. Oh. Has she had much experience, Peavy? No, no, but she's willing to start at the bottom. I think she'd fit right in with you. No. <laughs> Wait a minute, Pete. I have to give this secretary business a lot of thought. Oh, my, yes. Uh, give me a good cigar, will you? Mm, very well. Care to try Henrietta? Is that a new cigar? No, it's Mrs. Peavy's niece. Oh, uh... <laughs> Don't cost you anything, Mr. Gildersleeve. You mean Mrs. Peavy's niece? No, the cigar. <laughs> well, uh, thank you. You're welcome. Now, let's get back to Henrietta. Oh, for... Peavy, you're not trying to press this matter, are you? Well, I... You believe the water commissioner should hire the best help he can get, don't you? Well, yes. I know you wouldn't shower me with favors just to get me to hire your wife's niece. You gave me this fine cigar just because you're my friend. Well, no, I wouldn't say that. <laughs> All right, Peavy, if it's a good cigar, I'll consider her. Hello, 
Well, Floyd. Hi, Commissioner. Yeah, how's the barber business? Well, I'll give you a clue. You're next. Great. <laughs> well, it be. Of course, you need the works. Uh, just a shave, Floyd. I want to lean back and do some thinking. Yeah? Thinking, yeah. Thinking's hard on the hair. I'd watch it, Commissioner. You should talk. You're a barber, and I've got more hair than you. Well, you know how grass grows on a vacant lot. <laughs> oh, sure, sure. All jokes alongside, Commissioner. What's on your mind? Let little Floydie Munson help you with your problem. Yeah, I've been getting too much help, Floyd. That's my problem. Oh, yeah? yeah? i got to hire a new secretary. All my friends are trying to wish somebody off on me. Well, what do you know? They don't seem to realize I just can't hire anybody. I've got to have efficiency. The Peavy, the judge... They're all trying to push somebody they're interested in. I wouldn't pay any attention to them, Commission. Who are they to tell you how to run your business? That's the way I feel, Floyd. You know what I'd do, Commission? Uh, what, Floyd? I'd hire a little manicurist I know. A manicurist in the water department? Why not? She's a very deserving girl. She's an old friend of Lovey's. Well, I'd like to hire your wife's old friend, Floyd. She's something to think about, Commission. She can file a water report just as good as she can file a nail. Now, Floyd, I want to give this some thought. I wouldn't think too long you might lose her. Besides, Commiss, you're a busy man. Well, yes, yes, I am. I can see the work piling up on your desk. You need her, Commiss. A water commissioner without a secretary is like a monkey without a wrench. Please, Floyd. <laughs> yeah, how about that shave? Sure. But, uh... Keep the kid in mind, huh, Commissioner? All right, Floyd. I will say this for you. You haven't gone about it the way Peavy and Hooker did. Oh, yeah? How'd they go about it? Well, the judge offered me the use of his new car if I'd hire a friend of his. No. Yep. And Peavy's showering me with good cigars to hire Mrs. Peavy's niece. At least you're not trying to bribe me, Floyd. Um, Commissioner, how about a massage on the house? Uh, What? (laughs) You know, just to help you think about my candidate. Well, why not? <laughs> <laughs> I'm beginning to feel like the winner of Double or Nothing. <laughs> the Great Gildersleeve returns in just a moment. It's fresh. Fresh. Really fresh. Fresh. Always fresh. Fresh. That's why it tastes so good. It's parquet margarine made by Kraft. Yes, when you buy margarine, you want the most in freshness and flavor your money can buy. And that's why millions prefer parquet margarine to any other kind. Parquet margarine is the margarine that tastes so good because it's fresh. Really fresh. Always fresh. Parquet is blended fresh from top-grade products of American farms, rushed fresh to your store in refrigerated trucks, sold fresh by your grocer. In addition, every pound of parquet is flavor-dated. Stocks are regularly inspected by Kraft men. That's why Kraft can positively guarantee to you that wherever or whenever you buy parquet margarine, you'll get the margarine that's fresh. Fresh. Really fresh. Fresh. Always fresh. That's P-A-R-K-A-Y, parquet margarine made by Kraft. In states where colored margarine is sold, get yellow parquet in its new flavor saver aluminum foil wrap. Elsewhere, get parquet in the handy color quick bag or regular package. Gildersleeve is the kind of executive who likes to pick his own secretary. When his friends, the Jolly Boys, came up with suggestions, he resented it until they followed up their suggestions with gifts. Now he's beginning to enjoy it. Hoop dee doo, hoop dee dee, da 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 dee dee. Feeling pretty good tonight, huh? Oh, you bet, Leroy. <laughs> hey, where'd you get the big cigar? Hey, why? What about it? Well, it doesn't smell as bad as that old rolled up rubber you usually smoke. Well, it happens to be a very fine cigar that my friend Mr. Peavy gave me. Yeah? Why? Well, I may do him a favor. He wants me to hire Mrs. Peavy's niece for my secretary. You mean you spent all day on it and haven't hired one yet? Leroy, I'm taking my time. (laughs) Uh, Brush me off, my boy. I'm due at the Jolly Boys meeting. Okay. My, my, Mr. Gilson, you sure look spiffy tonight. Thank you, Bertie. Mr. 
Josie, you been pinching your cheeks? Oh, no, Bertie. Well, they sure look rosy. Yeah, what have you been doing to them, Rosie? <laughs> Leroy, I just had a massage. <laughs> Compliments of Floyd's Barbershop. How come he's giving you stuff, too? Well, I may do him a favor. He knows a deserving manicurist who might make me a good secretary. <laughs> oh, I can see you up there in your office now, Miss Gillsleeve, dictating with one hand and getting a manicure with the other. <laughs> <laughs> Say, that's an idea. <laughs> Aunt, how can you hire the manicurist? I thought you were doing Mr. Peavy the favor. Well, Leroy, I'm considering everybody's suggestion. <laughs> Seems all my friends have somebody they want me to hire. <laughs> I've discovered it isn't too profitable to decide these things too quickly. What an operator. Unc, what are you promoting out of Judge Hooker and Chief Gates? Leroy, I'm not promoting things for my friends. Besides, I haven't even seen the chief. Uh, never mind, Bertie, I'm right here. Hello, Mr. Gildersleeve. Well, Chief. Hello, Leroy. Hi, Chief Gates. Come in. Come in. No, no, thanks. I just wanted to speak to you for a minute before the meeting. I hear you're looking for a new secretary. Well, yes. What did you bring me? I mean, uh, <laughs> did you have anybody in mind? Oh, brother. Uh, Commissioner, as chief of police, there's a girl down at the jail I'd like to recommend. <laughs> Oh? Well, you've heard of Southside Molly. Southside Molly? Oh, she's been a model prisoner. She's getting out next week, and, the, well, the girl wants to go straight. That's all very well, but Now, she... now, now, Commissioner, don't worry about her. She wasn't abandoned. She just kept the motor running. <laughs> <laughs> Frankly, Chief, I'll have to do a lot of thinking about Southside Molly. Well, Commissioner, none of us are perfect. To illustrate my point, look at these parking tickets. Uh oh, they got my name on them. Mm hmm. You're a lawbreaker, but I'm going to tear them up. Hey, can I have the pieces to show the kids? No, Leroy. <laughs> well, that's very nice of you, Chief. Oh, not at all. Now then, can I do you another little favor? Uh, can I drive you to the Jolly Boys meeting in the Chief's car with the? Siren going? Uh, no, thanks, Chief. I'm driving the judge's new car this evening. What a character. <laughs> My George, yeah. fellas, this is a great meeting. It's wonderful to get together like this. Yeah, you can't beat it. Let's sing a song. Well, what will we sing? There is a tavern in the town. <laughs> oh, no, Peavy. I think we should let Gildy select the song. So do I. Oh, me too. What's your pleasure, Commissioner? Well, okay by you, Peavy? Oh, my, yes. Anything you say is okay by me. Oh, what a nice bunch of fellows. <laughs> well, how about Sweet Sixteen? <laughs> There's a solo line for me. Splendid selection, Gilda. Well, here we go. Ready or not. I loved you as I never loved before. Since first I met you on the very street. Come to me. I thought the commission was the one who'd done good. Oh, so do I. Oh, me too. Uh, uh, me too. Well, <laughs> thank you, fellows. <laughs> Nothing I enjoy more than singing after a hard day at the office. You must have had a hard day, Gilday. 
now about the secretary. Have you contacted Miss Matterhorn? Yeah, well, I haven't decided about the secretary as yet, Chuck. You don't say. Well, care for another cigar, Mr. Gildy? <laughs> Thank you, Phoebe. Well, Gildy, I've just been thinking. Why don't you keep my new car over the weekend and take the family for a spin? Well, if you insist, Horace. Hey, hey, what's going on here? George, are you trying to influence a commissioner regarding a secretary? Not at all. It just happens that he's hiring an old friend of mine. Miss Matterhorn. You will not Just judge. a minute, just a minute. The commission and me have a gentleman agreement about a friend of Lubby. Uh, now, Floyd. You're all you wrong, say? fellas. Mr. Gildersleeve is hiring Southside Molly. Oh, no, I wouldn't say that. He led me to believe he's hiring Mrs. Peavy's niece. Yeah, but Peavy. Well, <laughs> it seems that our old friend has been leading all of us on. Mm, fine friend. You judge. I have not. Oh, yeah? He accepted our presence. You. I'm out two 25 cent cigars. You're all right, Peavy. Here's one of them back. Mm, very well. <laughs> Gildy, I'll thank you for the keys to my new car. Uh, here you are, Judge. Thank you. I'm stuck. How do you take back a massage? Yes. <laughs> yes, and my traffic tickets. Well, now, there's fellows, something you should be able to do about fellows, that. Fellows, let's forget the whole thing. Let's be jolly boy. Fine jolly boy. Let's sing another song. I don't feel like singing. I don't even feel like staying here. Yeah, I think I'll go home. Yeah, let's walk out on him. Now, wait a minute. You don't have to walk out on me. I'm not going to break up the club. I'll leave. Well, isn't somebody going to stop me? <laughs> Under the circumstances, Gildy, it might be a good idea for you to leave. Yeah, I guess so. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. <laughs> Don't hear much going on up there. They're whispering a little. Say, I'll bet they're forgiving me. Sure. I forgot my hat. I'll go back and get it. They'll welcome me with open arms. <laughs> Who threw that? It's my hat. Hit me right in the face. <laughs> this morning, but I was up at five. Couldn't sleep. <laughs> well, what will I do first? <laughs> yeah, I guess I caught cold wandering around the reservoir last night. <laughs> Wish I'd have jumped in. <laughs> Bless you. What? Good morning. Oh, Hazel. What are you doing back here? I'm answering an ad in the paper. Water Commissioner wants efficient secretary. Efficient, yes. But, Hazel, you were here yesterday. Oh, I recognize you now, Mr. Gildersleeve. But how was I to know that you were the same water commissioner? Oh, for... Hazel, uh, Hazel, how many water commissioners do you think this town has? I don't know. It has a lot of water. You. Oh, brother. It's a good thing I didn't hire her. I wonder who came in. Oh, excuse me, Hazel. Uh-oh. Judge Floyd. Good morning, Gilly. Well, fellows, <laughs> nice of you to come. Is everything forgiven? Are you kidding? What are you getting at, Floyd? Gilly, we've been appointed a committee of two to make this call. Oh? Your premeditated deceit hurt us deeply last night. Deceit? And for conduct unbecoming a jolly boy, we are here to ask for your resignation. Why, you can't do this to me. Fellas, you no, are the you ones... No, you begging, Kamish. A guy can't play both ends against the middle without getting it in the middle. <laughs> All right. That's the way you feel about it. Hey, who's that? Oh, it's just Hazel. Hazel? Gilda, you didn't tell us you'd hired a secretary. Hired her? It ain't Mrs. Peavy's niece, is it? Oh, no, Floyd. Well, there's something fishy here. Judge, that ain't Matterhorn, is it? Of course not. Miss Matterhorn can't hum. Fellows, it's Hazel, a friend of Bessie's. You mean you ain't double-crossed none of us jolly boys? 
Floyd, I wouldn't think of doing that. Well, as long as you didn't reject my choice in favor of one of the other members, I feel all right about it. You do? Me too, Commish. I got no beef as long as you step outside our group and hire this Hazel. Uh, I don't know whether it's worse to be out of the Jolly Boys or stuck with Hazel. <laughs> oh, well. Hazel. Yes, sir? Let's get to work. Really, Mr. Gildersleeve? Yeah, of course. She doesn't look too efficient, Gilder. Oh, she's efficient. Hazel, there's more work here than you and I can do, so let's get with it. Yes, sir. Where do I find Mr. Withit? Mr. Withit. <laughs> oh, I should have resigned. Great Gildersleeve will be right back. Tomorrow, when you shop, remember, the margarine that always tastes so good because it's always fresh is parquet margarine made by Kraft. In states where colored margarine is sold, get yellow parquet in its new flavor saver aluminum foil wrap. Elsewhere, get that wonderful tasting, fresh tasting parquet margarine in the handy color quick bag or regular package. That's P-A-R-K-A-Y, parquet margarine made by Kraft. Shall I go home now? Yes, you can go home, Hazel. Gee, Mr. Gildersleeve, I think I lost my key to the office. Ooh, what a secretary. Here, here's my key. Think you can find your way home? Oh, yes, sir. I've been there before. <laughs> Good night. Good night. <laughs> yeah, there she goes. Well, at least I have a secretary. And I put one over in the Jolly Boys. They thought they had me. Gildersleeve, you're clever. <laughs> Hazel isn't a bad secretary. Probably a lot smarter than she looks. Yes, sir, it's been a good day. Now, let's go home and tell the little family all about it. it darn old-fashioned doors. What's wrong with this now? Oh, confound it. Hazel locked it on the outside. I'm locked in. She's got the key. I'm a prisoner in my own water department. <laughs> by Paul West, John Elliott, and Andy White with music by Robert Armbruster. Included in the cast are Walter Tetley, Lillian Randolph, Earl Ross, and Richard Legrand with Arthur Q. Bryan, Ken Christie, and Sandra Gould. This is John Heaston saying good night for the Kraft Foods Company, makers of the famous line of Kraft quality food products. Be sure to listen in next Wednesday and every Wednesday for the further adventures of the great Gildersleeve. Here's a quick, pleasant way to make leftovers more delicious. Just add a little Kraft prepared mustard and you'll add a lot of tang. Hidden flavors in boiled ham, sausage, most any meat pop right out. Every bite tastes better. Now you can get two kinds of Kraft mustard. Salad mustard, delicately spiced for those who prefer a milder flavor, and Kraft mustard with snappy horseradish added. Have both kinds in your pantry. Then with every meat dish, hot or cold, just add a little mustard, and you'll add a lot of tang. Kraft prepared mustard. Next Monday, Break the Bank joins your morning lineup on NBC.